There's a few things that I'm looking forward to talking about, however, I do want to start with this one because I feel like it is super important, and that is Shu Yamino telling everybody that the reason he is on his break is that he is going through some mental health struggles. He goes on to explain that Niji Sanji Ian's AR Live Colors was announced to be cancelled on February 1st, and that announcement for him was a very hard pill to swallow. With its cancellation, he felt powerless, lifeless, disappointed, betrayed, and a lot of other emotions. Apparently, he's been continuously upset about the cancellation even after the announcement, and it has been gnawing at his mental state. He goes on to clarify how he felt and why he needed a break, and so on and so forth. But he does later specify that after his trip to Japan, he felt a lot better, he feels recharged, but he is going to return to streaming slowly and generally take it easy. I'll leave a link to his community post in the description down below if you want to read the full breakdown of how he's feeling. He put a link to this community post on his Twitter page and it seems that everybody is super supportive. It's nothing but love and support from the community and you'll love to see the community outpouring support for someone who is mentally struggling. The next thing that I want to talk about is this post from Muno where she talks about her stream was abruptly ended and deleted because she got a report talking about some sort of violation. I have no idea who filed this report or why they would have reported the stream. I think that's extremely annoying that a single report can take down an entire stream midstream and get the whole thing deleted. That's very frustrating. But luckily, it was just a warning, so she'll be back to streaming very shortly. Now, people who were watching the stream got this message when they tried to watch it saying, this video has been removed for violating YouTube's policy on spam, deceptive practices, and scams, which is obviously bogus. That's obvious nonsense. So was it manually reported or was it YouTube's AI? We have no idea. But I'm sure she's going to fight the claim and get the VOD restored and get back to streaming as per usual. Dealing with YouTube never ceases to be frustrating. The last thing I want to talk about might seem a little bit conspiratorial, but I do want to brace everybody, and that's the fact that Zion Streamlabs page has been taken down. Now, I'm not saying that's confirmation of graduation or anything, but I've seen a lot of people make that assumption. I have absolutely no idea what's going on behind the scenes at Niji Sanji, or if Zion will be coming back or not, but I genuinely hope that whatever's going on behind the scenes, they manage to get it resolved so that she can return to streaming. But I also think that with the long list of reasons that Niji Sanji provided for her suspension, and the possibility that perhaps she is not receptive to that suspension and not accepting criticism of management, I do want all of her fans to brace for a possible graduation. Again, not saying that that's destined to happen, I just want everyone to be ready for the possibility. But ultimately, that's everything that I wanted to talk about. Let me know what you think about these stories in the comment section below. Bye, guys.